the maiden voyage of the White Star Liner Titanic, the largest ship ever launched, has ended in disaster, reported The Guardian on April 16, 1912. The tragedy of more than 1,500 lost lives is regarded as a milestone in maritime disasters. The famous blockbuster movie by James Cameron brought it back to attention in the 90s, and the recent tragic events of the Titan submarine not only confirms that this is an international history landmark, but also a very interesting piece of event which belongs to the museums. So why isn't it there yet, in a giant warehouse, next to old Viking boats that we scraped from the bottom of the seas? Are we waiting for another ocean gate? Well, let me clear that out for you in this next video that you never asked for. On Wednesday 10th, April 1912, shortly after 12 noon, RMS Titanic set sail from Southampton White Star Dock on her maiden voyage to New York. A total passenger capacity of 2,453, more than 900 crew members, Ritz Hotel style decoration enriched with expensive art, 7 feet deep salt water swimming pool, a gymnasium, a squash court, Turkish bath facilities, multiple restaurants and cafes, mail and heavy cargo services, 882 feet long, 92 feet wide and 59 feet tall, amounting to a eye-watering $7.5 million cost of making, the Titanic was the pinnacle of engineering and maritime hospitality of the pre-World War I era. The fatal iceberg crash in the freezing waters of Newfoundland resulted in the tragic loss of more than 1,500 lives, technical limitations, as well as the vastness of the North Atlantic search made finding it extremely difficult. It wasn't until 1985 when a joint US-French expedition located the remains of the Royal Mail ship Titanic. Numerous manned and unmanned expeditions brought back to the surface jewelry, furniture, shoes, machinery and other items which now belong in at least seven museums dedicated to the accident. But none of them will ever have what is remaining from the actual Titan of the Seas. After a US Navy financed underwater robot named Argo discovered the Titanic remains in 1985, there were a few trials to actually bring it out in the surface. The first ever attempt to bring out a part of it in 1996 ended in disaster. RMS Titanic Incorporation, which owns the salvage rights, tried to haul up a 21-ton section of the hull, but the nylon cables used for the job snapped and the 24 by 16 foot piece of the Titanic sank back down to the ocean floor. 27 years later, humans should probably have stronger cables. This should be no impossible task, right? Yeah, but the ocean never takes a day off. The extreme conditions of the Newfoundland Basin are eating the Titan every day. Iron-eating bacteria and ocean currents have been feeding on this massive chunk of metal for more than a century now. The ship is disintegrating completely. The deck has fallen in on itself and the forward mast and the gymnasium have collapsed. The entire structure is corroded to the bone. What one day was intended to be a creature of the tides now remains a fragile pile of rust and history. But even if someday we create the engineering to delicately move the beast from the bottom of the ocean, the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada and France wouldn't allow it to happen. A treaty initially agreed upon in the 1990 went into effect in 2019 after the US ratified the agreement which the UK signed in 2003 makes the wreck an international memorial site. The treaty limits the entry into the hull and disturbance of other artifacts, making the governments the only power to grant or deny licenses to remove artifacts out of the site. So if anybody ever wants to move it, they would have to go through long decades of four different government bureaucracy. There are at least seven dedicated Titanic museums. However, if you count experiences and exhibitions, the number grows significantly. All filled with artifacts collected from the wreckage or those who luckily survived. But none of them will ever have the mighty Titan itself. In that case, the only exhibition still remains the ocean. And after the tragic event on Father's Day on June 18, 2023, it will be even harder to grab hold of a ticket to the venue itself. Until the engineering becomes safer and more commonly available, we better wait on dry soil for a while.